My neighbor. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you all, you know, how, how you're feeling about uh, this team and where things stand here, you know, entering the, your first big four tournament. Um, I think Sunday's game really was just like, we're, we're here. This is where we are, and we're going to get better from that. Um, but I think we really connected, we really clicked, and that's what, going forward, what we're planning on playing like. Yeah, I think we struggled a little bit, obviously, but I think Sunday um, we really connected the, the dots and fired on all cylinders, defense, pitching, hitting. Um, and I think we're just going to remember – we're trusting in the process and not the outcome, and so I think the same things that we did and showed on Sunday, we're going to continue to ride that. How how did you all feel that Sunday thing came together as far as a, whether there's a turning point or, or something that sort of led to that feeling? Um, I feel like a lot of it had to do with reminding ourselves it's not about our outcomes or pressing, but how good we are, and it was a celebration of the seniors. I think that played a big part into it and uh, focusing on what we've been able to do and what um, the process is and how we've got to where we are. And I think reminding ourselves of that helped with the, out the outcome took care of itself. So it was just kind of a celebration of all of the seniors here. She said it perfectly. Just having some, I guess, just playing for the seniors, really making it fun for us, really got us uh, moving and moving forward, yeah. Mason and then Ryan Chapman. Carly, how much did it mean just to get the trust to get that start on Sunday? And was it weird at all going out and then have to come back in? Or how did you handle that? Um, I think it's a, I leaned a lot on my faith. Um, I've struggled kind of this season, especially with the pinky injury in the fall. Um, but I just felt the Lord's presence so much. And I was just so confident. Even when KD was in there, I had all the confidence in the world um, in her. And so it was just kind of... You know, I'm gonna throw my stuff no matter what the outcome is, and I'm just gonna go for it and try to do my best for my team. Carly, not necessarily like a Sunday specific question, but how different is the mindset when like you know you're starting versus coming out of the bullpen? Because your splits are pretty similar with both, and that's like not constant across the softball for like a bunch of pitchers being able to give the same out of the pen. Um, I mean, I think I go into every every game with the same mindset, whether that's coming in from the bullpen or starting. Um, I'm just going to go out there. I'm going to trust what I do, and I'm going to do my best for my team. Whatever the team needs at that moment, whatever pitch Coach Rocha calls, that's what I'm going to put my all into and just focus on executing that. Is that something you've always been really good at, just being able to be the same person? Either way? Yeah, I've, <laughs> I've, I don't really get too high. I don't really get too low. I feel like I ride a pretty constant wave, so... Uh, Carly, I guess along those lines, you, you mentioned kind of the pinky injury and stuff. Just how important maybe was last weekend in terms of the success you had both in relief and starting, just in terms of confidence heading into the Big 12 tournament and beyond? Yeah, I think it was kind of the first time that I felt like my old self uh, before the injury happened. And I think just being able to put, put all my trust and confidence in that, not have like something in the back of my head of, oh, well, maybe, no, like, this is it. This is my pitch. We're going for it. And so to have that trust going into the postseason is really big. Well, and Ella, for you, I know you've kind of been asked this before, but just we've gone through a lot of games in a regular season. Just what's what's maybe been that learning process like for you? What has stood out to you the most just about how much of the season we've got to so far and, and just going through that for the first time? Um, I've just learned to play in the mindset that you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Uh, especially being a freshman, it's like just taking advantage of all the opportunities you got. Um, but that's like what's really been driving all of this is just playing aggressive and not being afraid to make any mistakes. Thank you. Uh, Ella, have you had any like dips or have you been able to stay even keel the entire way? Oh, I've had a lot of, <laughs> a lot of dips. Um, but uh, I think just like what really like sometimes or a lot of dips, but learning how to be there for my teammates is what's got me out of that. If I'm not doing well, I know my teammates will pick me up, and I know that if someone else isn't doing their best, I'll have, we'll pick each other up. But I think just having each other's backs is what really has been the key to all of this. Daniel? Yeah. James? Ella, uh, you know, just focusing on that big home run last Sunday. Uh, how big was that for you in the moment and for the team, considering? Y'all have the best results the past two games. 
honestly, I was just thinking of passing the bat to the next person. Cass got us going with that home run, and we were all fired up. But um, in that moment, I was just like, be aggressive, but remember to just keep passing the bat forward. That was really big for the team. <laughs> <laughs> How do you all think playing at Lowe's Field in that environment is going to help you, you know, play in a big club tournament in the World Series? I just think, like, it is really loud and it is really intimidating for other teams to come in there. And I think just being, like, accustomed to that loudness and that level all the time for this long, I think will help us be unfazed in uh, different environments or at Hall of Fame Stadium. So I think that's going to play a factor into how we can respond or how we can handle the, the crowd. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, Carly, you talked about uh, sort of finally feeling 100% with everything. And what's been that process like getting there? How much of it was physical coming back from the pinky? How much of it was mental? Um, I think it was a good mix of both. I think at the beginning it was definitely physical. Um, but I think it was also giving myself grace and mentally being like, okay, yeah, realistically, I did really only have surgery six months ago. so. Um, kind of giving myself grace to work back into it and um, you know it's a struggle because I'm, I'm used to not struggling like that and so I think um, I really tried to focus on being a good teammate and cheering on my other pitchers and not caring about how I was doing and just getting in the bullpen and working as hard as I could and trusting in the process that it's going to come back to me because I'm working hard and it's and because you know I every day I'm getting it's healing more and more and so um, it was really just I had to lean into my faith and trust the Lord in the process and put my head down and grind. And uh, fortunately, it's starting to come together. Was there a certain pitch or a certain thing that would, you know, maybe it was the last thing to, to come through with that? Um, not necessarily a specific pitch. I think just with maybe like pitch count or the more I used it, like it would, I could tell the next day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really good now. So <laughs> right. hopefully it'll stay. Anything else? So thanks everyone. Thanks.